What is up everybody, it is the LOL Project here, and welcome back to more SCP Containment Breach. We left off where we found this air containment area of 372, and I don't even know what it is, but... I think, after doing some more reading, I, I think it's like a thing that you can see only out of the corners of your eyes. I have no idea, that's, that's all I'm getting from it. So. Oh, it's that room again. That's where I encountered 173 before, but I think I'm fine. Alright, so I'm gonna go back this way. I'm just gonna go back this way. Who is that open? Probably me. I'm closing that. Here. Okay. So I have an idea, guys. I have an idea. And it involves going to 914 and trying out uh, the machine itself to see what it will do to some of my items. Because... Let me just try this real quick. Yeah, higher security clearance. It won't let me do anything here, so... So it's just like a, a long trip back there. If I can find where 914 is, we will be great. There we go! There's 914. Okay, okay, I can open up. Yes! I can open it up. Refinery. Yeah, and while I'm at that, I'm gonna save real quick. There we go. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I get this. I, I've read how the machine works, so... The rough, coarse, and one-one options are usually not good from what I've read up, so... I think if I set this to very fine and I drop some items in here... Let's see. I'll start with the key card and see what happens, so... I'll start with the key card, I'll see what happens. So let's just... Wait and see... I wonder what's gonna come out of this one. So I'm just I'm just trying it at random here, guys. I'm just seeing. MasterCard! MasterCard, this doesn't come in handy. Unless I want to go to a supermarket and buy groceries or something. This is worthless. Okay. So I may have messed it up a bit. Actually, I'm gonna try fine and I'm gonna set it right here. I have no idea. I'm gonna retry it for myself. Let's wait. Level two. Great. Level two car. Cannot combine items. I'm gonna turn on the machine and we're gonna see what happens. As, remi as a reminder to all staff, no organic matter is to be entered into SCP-914 at any time. Please follow standard review procedures in regards to input booth checklist to prevent any all in all incidents. We do not wish a repeat of the spider steel wire incident of last week. Dr. Hart. <laughs> spider steel. Steel spider. Master card again. This is going to take a while. This is going to take a while. Actually, let me slide the navigator in here. Oh, let me slide the navigator in here. On... And let's just put it on very fine. I want to see what happens. I can't that. I'm taking that. I'm taking that medkit. SCP Navigator Ultimate. Oh my goodness. Technical accomplishments. Did we get the ultimate navigator? Oh, we did. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. 
we did nice. Who just opened the door? I don't know. I'm saving. Yes. Wait, next. I'm sliding the master card in here. I'm gonna. This is gonna take a little bit. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? It's just gonna be another card. I'm betting you. <gasps> yes! Level 3! We did it! We got a level 3 card. And if I'm correct about this, a level 3 should give us access to all the other doors that we weren't able to open before. Now I'm just gonna slide the gas mask in here on, on very fine. And then we should get, because I've heard a lot of good stuff about in this machine. Let's wait and see what happens. Just a normal gas mask was put in on scene. Okay. Oh! Oh my goodness, my sprint meter doesn't go down. This is the special gas mask. Okay, I'm saving. I'm saving. I got a level 3 key card. I got all that good stuff. There we go. Okay. Any progress? Okay, let's go. Oh, and I noticed there was a piece of paper over here that I'm gonna need. Hmm. I don't know why I'm bothering. I'm the only one alive anymore, I think. Or maybe just... I'm not going to read that. I'm not going to go deep into that. I don't even think I need that. Dr. L's note. I have no idea. Alright, I have no idea, guys. I did it. Let's, un let's use our unlimited access. What? Excuse you. Maybe we can go into maybe we can go into Vsource. 860 and 965. What's this? 860. Blue's you. Can I put this? Oh! Oh, I can put this to clipboard. Maybe there's a note on this that I can read. No. No, no. I don't know what 1025 is. I don't trust it. There's only one SCP I know that's a book, but I don't know if it's this one. Maybe I know what's reading. Potential bioweapon. Lung cancer. Lung cancer. Oh, great! Lung cancer. Uh, chicken pox. Highly contagious but non threatening. Okay, yeah, that's that's what 1025 does. I should have known. Good thing I saved my progress though, because I was on, I was suspicious about the book. Because I remember reading something about a book that could kill you if you read the diseases. Now I'm not sure. If, no, I wasn't too sure at the start if that was it, but at least now I know that it was. So okay, good thing I saved. So now I'm gonna spawn right back on my wall. Close that door and never. End. SCP-714 is to be stored in a reinforced high-security locker that is to be accessible only to level 4 plus personnel due to several incidents of misuse. 
seemingly nothing more than a green shade ring, SCP-714 has been shown to be able to expand and contract to perfectly fit the finger of anyone who touches it. Though this is the least important of its properties, SCP-174 has several major effects detailed as follows. Exhaustion, compulsion to rest or sleep. Within minutes of putting on SCP-714, wearers report that the feeling worn out, physically and mentally exhausted. Slowed reaction, sluggish movement. Reduced mental capacity, mental shield. And chemical tolerance. Okay, so... Apparently this is our defense ring of sorts. I'm removing it though, because it removes my sprint, as I just saw above. I'm not running out of the end. SCP-427. Orientational pamphlet and 173. I don't need him. There we go. Okay. So now I have a green jade ring and a blue key that I have no idea where it goes. Like I have, I read up on a blue key, but it's like I have no idea where on earth it goes. Surveillance room 6, please state your business. This is Assistant Ross. I'm locked inside containment room 5, and I've only got level 2 clearance. Are you able to send help? I'm hearing noises from behind my door. Don't know what it is, but I have to get out of here. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we can't get anyone there right now. Half of the security is unreachable, and those who've gotten in contact with me seem to be busy keeping themselves alive and getting out. I need help now. Hello, are you still there? End. Okay. Wow. I don't know who these people are. Who's Ross? Let's go. Document 500. SCP 500. Whoa, whoa, what? Ross Emily Sharon. That's what. Hold on a minute, guys. There, there's a. There's a. There's a. I'm gonna scan that QR code there. I'm gonna see what. Hold on. I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm back. I scanned the QR code and it, it gives me a code, sort of like coordinates of sorts. So the coordinates read 55.678741-4.065784. I have no idea what those are. Those are probably grid coordinates if I would have to estimate because they are very, very similar style. SCP-500 must be stored in a cool and dry place away from bright light. SCP-500 is a small plastic can which at the time of writing contains 47 red pills. Oh! One pill, when taken orally, effectively cures the subject of all diseases within two hours. Note from Dr. Klein, SCP personnel below level 3 are now banned from handling SCP-500. This is not to be used to cure a hangover. <laughs> Get AIDS, then ask permission. <laughs> okay, so that's the pill. And someone took it, so... That's not good. 
Uh, how did I not notice that group on the floor before? I have no idea, guys. SCP-1. That, that's a gas mask, but I already have a gas mask. Why would I want to another one? I don't need that paper. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for this episode of SCP Containment Breach. Honestly, we've made very great progress, we've got the level 3 key card, we've got the infinite run gas mask, and we have the ultimate navigator. That's perfect. I'm really glad we got all that stuff, and now we are learning more about this game as we traverse. I actually will have to figure out what that QR code for Emily Ross means. But for now, thank you everyone so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more epic content like this. Thanks again, everybody. And like always, I'll be seeing you all in the next video.